let's get back to business to defeat the mod. That's 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 all I got. That's that's it. That's it. That's all. That's all. All right. Anyways, hello everybody. Welcome back to some more Terraria Calamity mod. Um, as you guys can tell, there is a difference. Instead of being over there in that corner, I'm over there in that corner. Some people want. Ooh, oh, that was the rage. Some people wanted to be able to see the boss health bars that show up down here, that are a part of the Calamity mod. And uh, yeah, you know, we'll try it. We'll try it. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. All right. I don't remember what to do though. What are we doing? Oh, so thought about it. I think we should take this instead because this makes us immune to the horror debuff, which is something that is absolutely like. Is my mic all funka dunky? Um. But anyways, since the uh, that debuff is quite a pain if we end up getting it. So let's quick make this into a warding. 4 gold, 32 silver. Nope. Menacing, 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 warding. Okay, boom, warding. So a little bit less defense now, but we are immune to that um, horror debuff. Which would make things a bit nicer. Um, other than that, what should we do? I guess next would be fighting this thing, the Brimstone Elemental. So we just gotta figure out how to make that. And I'm gonna guess we use Souls of Night. Oh, look at that. I'm a genius. Five of those and five Essence of Chaos. 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 And we have one. Bruh. You're pulling on my leg here. We only got one of those. Alright. You know what that means. We've got to go down and farm it. Ready? Go. Whee! Close enough. Hopefully, just like last time, we can continue to progress in this mod. We can uh, pick up the pace a bit. The more we progress, the more, uh, more interesting this mod gets. As you can... Uh, some of you guys can already start to tell by some of the weapons that we've gotten. Alright. Little one is still trying to nap, so I kinda gotta keep an ear out for her yet. And by trying to nap, I mean she's just being a booger. Okay, so if I recall correctly, we're actually able to get the Essence of Chaos from anything down here. It doesn't have to just be over in that um, brimstone area. Looks like nothing wants to spawn anyways.
Which that's fine, I suppose. There's a couple. Slight immunity to lava now. <laughs> Perfect. I didn't mean to switch to the lionfish. Um, where's my. There's my little summons. Ah. Uh... That guy. That's another NPC we can get, but we would end up needing uh like a purified powder to throw at him. Was it purified or was it the holy water? Honestly, I cannot remember for sure. I am pretty sure well, we're kind of getting there. We're a little more than halfway there. Really? He killed us? I didn't realize he was doing that much damage. Gosh darn it. Duh. Alright, no not quest, I want you, Horus, Underworld, five gold for that, you're ripping me off. Might as well leave this one kind of together. Oh wait! If I were to break above that, then they'd end up. Uh, every time we want to use that potion, it would not be good. Oh, that brought me there. Cool. So it actually brought me pretty. Uh, Pretty close to the brimstone. Wait a minute, which means there is an essence of chaos right before us. Right around here somewhere. Right there. Thanks, game. Alright. Now let's keep going. Really? No. Living fire block. on lava whoa I should be just about there
Uh, ooh, the Helping Bow for free? Sure. Can we already have that though? I think we did. That's fine. Get rid of the Power Logs. Now I take it we can't mine this yet. Ooh, we can. Okay. Um, uh, area light ores. No. That's what I want. That's a charge one. Actually, no, you can see the eyes. I don't know why I'm pointing to the screen. I just can't see you point to the screen. Up here. You can see the little laser sticking out. I don't know how much charred ore we'll need for. Well, I don't even know what this stuff is useful for. <laughs> We've got eight essence of chaos though now. There's a lava. There's a lava right there. I'll save this some gasoline. Lesser for stone. Thank you. What do we want to get rid of? Get rid of those. Wait, what did he drop? Didn't he drop something else? No. I thought he dropped like a bow of some sort.
some stuff away. First things first. First things first. Let me see what this thing can do. I mean, Essence of Sunlight and Ten Obsidian. <sighs> Do we have any Obsidian? summons at the moment. Or that. Don't need those. Essence of sunlight. And that. And that. And that. So there's those. Some ten obsidian. Where All right. I forgot. How many of those do I need? Probably not going to be like a end tier item that I'm going to want to use, but you never know. two of them. Perfect. Thanks, buddy. Let's move my souls into the other one. And the essences. And stars. Soul, soul, soul. And the essences. Those we can hold on to. Alright, so, so, essence of sunlight. We can make the flare wing bow. And 
And you, good sir. The Heavenly Gale. Press a barrage five random exo arrows. Green arrows explode into a tornado on death. Blue arrows cause the second group of arrows to fire and enemy hits. Orange arrows cause explosions on death. Teal arrows ignore enemy immunity frames. Well, a hot diggity no. Now that is an end tier bow in a long run. Oh yeah, we already had one of those. <laughs> Reminds me of uh, what's that creature? The from Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. The the, the 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 lima beam hero, the knight. The one that always gets music that goes dee 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 dee. Okay, try the one first. However, you sir, what does that thing you make? Where is that thing? Chardor. Makes the unholy core. The ancient monolith. So I would need Helsum. Okay. What does it combine with Hellstone to make? That's not gonna be enough, is it? No, I need to like four and four. Oh, you would need a lot of Hellstone then, wouldn't you? Alright. I mean let's let's give this a go, I guess. Cadence Yams. Potion of Darkness. Fortitude. Sensibility. Bewitching. And pink and petal rainer summoner. Calamitous is brutal. Let's go with that. I don't know if we have to be down in that area or not. So to play it safe, we're going to be. And yes, I know we're still not at the maximum health we could be at. We got to go ahead and get some more life fruits.
Okay, we're gonna get hit here. We're just gonna jump to the I knew we were going to. Is this one Grimling is even doing it? I don't even know if I can bother killing it at all. I don't believe this boss is going to be on a timer. Since this is an any time of day boss. As you guys can now tell, I'm at 42% health. So at this rate, we definitely should be able to do this. So I feel like these Brimlings are always going to come and spawn in. I feel like defeating them truly has zero purpose. I don't think they spawn any hard to hit. Perfect 
immediately need to get some hellstone so we can figure out what uh I was not uh not prepared for that. Good. <laughs> My goodness. Now we don't have a guide to see what uh stuff makes. That's disappointing. Alright, first things first, give her the wall of flesh one. Crimson key. Ooh. That's nifty. That's very nifty. That's, uh, yeah. Yeah. I'll take that. Alright. Oh, this one from the Brimstone Elemental. Heart of Yui? Equipable material summons pixie helper and lights treasures, creatures, and traps. Let's see what that makes. Oh, wait. No, we can't. Guide's dead. Before I forget, let's make a couple of those. Stone Craig doesn't actually give anything. From some elemental. Uh, blah blah blah. Place an inventory to improve the Inferno Potion effect. Well, I mean, that's kinda. Favorite items. Ah, we hold alt. Duh, we could just make it daytime. Almost forgot about that. Alright, we have the Gehenna. Drops brims on fireballs from the sky occasionally. She's asleep? Cool. Little one is asleep. 
No. No, I see that. No, she's not yet. Shard Relic. Cup of Wool contains a small amount of brimstone. So it does nothing? Uh, fires a barrage of brimstone blast. I mean, while that is, you know, nifty and all. Angry Abaddon. Material makes you immune, immune, immune. <laughs> Emme you immune. <laughs> makes you immune to it. <laughs> oh, fudgicles. So didn't I already have one of those little trophy thingies? Somewhere. Um, these things, the demon trophies. Did I already have one somewhere? I did. So I mean we can just sell that one? Even though it has literally no value. to go to the dungeon and find ourselves a crimson chest. spawn rate by a lot and spelunker how do we still have all those combinations Oh, they were there before. Duh. For some reason I was thinking like we just added those buffs on. Guide is back. That's all fine and dandy. A whole bunch of gold chests here. Like a lot. Why can't we use it? 
Do we still have to wait to be able to use that? That's... Biome keys. Though usable until unusable until player Plantera is defeated. Dang it. Well there's one. Just so I know where it is, there's another one. My goodness, though, when that person said it reduces spawn rate by a lot, it wasn't kidding. There was like no enemies. Alright, guide. Buddy. You got some explaining to do. The Gehenna. Void of extinction, no longer curse. Drops brimstone fireballs from the sky occasionally. <laughs> blah 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 blah. I need the void of calamity to go with that. So let's see, so this stuff we can make a blood moon happen. And some blades. Yep, just some plates. The lower your life, the more damage this blade does. It's generally a large explosion. If you're below half health, it has a chance to instantly kill regular enemies. My goodness. Um, what does the charred relic do? That I would need all the cores for. So seven hollowed bars, and then three, 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 three. The Leech of the Souls. And Night Flight Might. Here, you. What does the heart of you we combine into? Literally makes itself? Oh. 
Well done. Kind of provides light, I suppose. Thing we were gonna make the uh, ponage hammer, right? I wonder if because it was favorited, couldn't make anything with it. Seven hollowed bar, three souls of night might fright. Right? What am I missing here? Seven hollow bar, three souls of might, sight, fright. I have flight. Why the heck did I get flight? That's why. It's rogue damage and his material. Oh, look at that. That's gonna be a good time right there. That goes into the Celestus. He's a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. what this actually does. What does the charred relic actually do? There's got to be something else to it. Oh, it's a pet. Other than that, it's nothing. Just, just a pet. Well then. I guess I don't mind selling it then. And it has no value anyways. <sighs> would be calamitous. A 
And we'd want to make the Eye of Desolation. Really? It doesn't need Souls of Night? That is surprising. You never know, it could have needed some of the light instead. Worth a shot. Alright, well then in that case, what else could you need? Essence of Chaos. 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 Yep. 10 Hellstone Bar, 3 Blighted Lens. Okay. 5 Souls of Fright. You can buy Hellstone from this guy. Be super if you could. So, oh, give me one second. Stay there, Radley. No, who said you were supposed to stay? Sorry about that. No. Part of streaming, life calls. Alright, so we should buff up.
Dang it, we almost had adrenaline. I'm pretty sure there's a second part to this fight. Because there's no way this should be that easily. I like how the lasers that he shoots split off after a while. I wonder if this would actually do more over time. In the long run, just because this has all the extra like stars and everything. Those uh, brothers gonna come back at some point in this fight. I know in the supreme calamitous fight, they come back a lot. Man, having those guys added on made that first bit of this fight a real pain. Get on the rope. Oh my gosh. I can't believe that just happened. 
that on the stupid rope. Come on. Again, the rope. I gotta, I gotta get rid of the rope. But I mean, I should now anyways. Brothers are back? You're kidding me. Get off the rope. I'm gonna die. I died. Crushaw Crasher. Oh, it's not consumable? Ah, oh, dude. Cool. Havoc's Breath. What does that take? Gel? I take some gel. Yeah. Well, out of sheer curiosity. Pretty good. Maybe we should give that thing a try. Alright, so that we can put back away. That we can put back. The rest of those we could put back. Why the lens we could put back. No, I don't care about knockback. Get our potions back.
Alright. I guess we roll with this. We also have to get rid of this rope. We got caught up on that plenty of times. Okay. Now that that's all taken care of, this buff up. Buddy. Almost forgot to summon our little uh, friends. percentage of his health pretty decently. Again, right before we get the adrenaline.
hopefully this weapon will actually help us out with this part as well. Because this is all the piercing right through this will do. Brothers are gonna come back here, aren't they? I'm curious to see, I don't know if, um, don't know if the super potions actually have all the effects that those have.
7,500 health is nuts.
please. <sighs> Ocean depths are trembling. Oh, that's right, that's how you get the broken hero sword. You gotta get it from him. So that's fantastic. <laughs> All right. Does that treasure bag have in store for us? So I'll climb the doppelganger, place in your inventory, gain a boost to your minion slots, but at the cost of reduced max health. Absolutely not. Animosity. Thanks. Calamitous Brothers will want that. sell a couple things. I don't know if there's any point to holding on to these grenade shells or not. Alright guide, what can we make with some of this stuff? of chaos so also for now nothing else so we need that with an obsidian rose a bloody blade. See, now we gotta decide what we want to put with that broken hero sword. Now we need a core of calamity anyways. It's the way we couldn't even do for a little while. I feel like I wouldn't even want the true Excalibur at this point.
Ой. So I guess we hold off on this one till we can get the living shards and the cores of calamity. And on the flip side, we need to now sell this. So that we can reforge this. Mystic ain't the greatest for what we want. Maybe we will just hold on to Mystic then. Well, now that we beat Calamitous, you'd want to fight the Aquatic Scourge or Plantera. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Before I forget, let's refresh this, this. Also, now that I think about it, I wonder if we should do the Dungeon Defender event. On either side, they got it. For each summon slot, there's three, uh, three things there. I'm taking care of 
these ones taken care of. And we have 17 Defender Medals. I'm just worried that this updates to Tier 3 once we beat Plantera. In which case we'll want to prepare to get better equipment beforehand. Glider, Wither Beast, Hyrian Javelin Thrower. So you guys can't see what the wave is. Or, well, you can't see all of it at least. You'll be able to see some. That must have been that Wither Beast.
can, I just gotta be the elder. I knew I should have I should have beaten more of that wave and then the ogre. with potions. So we can get rid of that. Could probably sell a handful of these. Maybe that'll give us a little bit of money. for one stimulant. Well, I'll just go with that. heal up real real quick here. Oh. 
and elemental. See if we can get one more of those to spawn in. If not, no big deal. But I'm not gonna give it very long. Yeah, long enough. find a plantera bulb and if possible we need to find some life loot too. Well we found our bulb. a little bit more room to work with up here. Doom, doom. 
I know how to get rid of this crimson around here. Because I don't want to accidentally enrage Plantera from the get-go because it thinks we're in the crimson. other boss could wear out here. I'll lose one whole set of calamitous summon. That attack's gonna kill me. And it did. That's going good. Let me botched it up.
Now, how did we make bulb? I feel like there was a way to make it. And ten. Fifteen jungle spores, three murky paste, man eater bulb, a trapper bulb. Well shoot. I don't think that's gonna happen. I'd need two more of those. I have enough of these. Man-eater bulb, we would need a trapper bulb, three murky paste. Trapper bulb and two more murky paste. Alright, traveling merchant, what do you have? Uh, counterweight, a water gun. I don't know if he'll end up having anything anymore. That we would want. Light pet. Why is she so slow? Come on, little thingy.
There's a trapper bulb. So we would just need some more murky paste. There's even a pink jelly. Man, there's a lot of drops on there. A lot of creatures came after me. for quite a few more of those. We didn't get any more murky paste either. <sighs> I 
And I don't think anybody would sell that. We can do it. to figure out who would give us that murky pace too. Remember, we'll need those turtle shells in the long run. We need chlorophyte now? I think we could get it already. That's a game changer. Trying to keep an eye out for some life as well. Strong Yelet. Ninety two million damage. Oh, not bad. What in the world is that? Cryo slime.
the needler. As in like Halo needler? Fires and needles that stick to enemies. And they explode. And it's material. Cool. for that treasure bag. Don't need the Seriously, where do we get that murky paste from? I wonder if we get it from enemies that are above ground only. use 
these five. Actually, there's one more. I don't know if that one just spawned in or really missed that before. Now we only need more for now. Well, a couple. I don't know why my count was off. I thought it did 10 for some reason instead of 5. I don't think we win, but you never know. And we could work towards chlorophyte armor now too, I suppose. Enemies are more likely to target you. I don't think that matters. My lays are. Could make this armor set. 
So we need more Clarify and we need one more Turtle Shell. Um, what do we use of the aquatic scourge? Maybe some fucking gland. I don't know how to make that sulfuric food or whatever it is that summons him. Nope, don't see it there. Don't see it there. Don't see it there. Sulfuric food potentially. What could do it? I don't think anything in here would. I don't think any of this would. that biome blade. We would need a biome. So for sure not for a little while yet. Scourge. Sulfur, sand, starfish, and shark fin.
And we kind of get them to spawn in regularly, too. Oh, this card goes so much faster. Try to get them to spawn regular, and then while we're over there, we can also make some wood platforms, I suppose, for the fight. Gator from them. Campfires. Why not? 
I have the room, it's free regen. Better luck spawning him in with the uh, battle potion, though. Our Thrasher, buddy. I mean, I know he's a rare summon and all, but our spawn, I mean. Thought maybe we'd get lucky. What did we need with the sulfur sand? Ballistic poison. Ooh. That sounds good. So that sounds like the one we had earlier. The seafoam bomb, just better. 
Five starfish, three shark. Okay. So we just need three shark fins. Which would be here. If we have any. No, they'd be in here. Piggy. Kill him real quick. Shark fins. I mean, that's possible, but disappointing. Oh, yeah. Where was uh, where did we put our mini shark? Stick them in this one. Did did we get rid of our mini shark? Oh, we made it into the star cannon a while back. That's what we did with it. Uh, where's our arms dealer? No value. Dude. You stink. And we need the illegal gun parts though too. That stuff sells really good. For 20. Hmm. Gold. Uh, I can give you twenty gold, my friend. Move out of the way. So there's those. Okay, we already had some of that. Okay, okay. And 
and need a shark fence. There's our mega shark. Sure, we need three shark fins. Them kill some enemies down that way. Oh, that's Iron, but oh, that's Iron. Because it's singing, that's what that is, is a siren. Butthead's coming after me. Oh, now she's gone. For a second, I thought she followed me all the way back. Let's see here, Siren. That would summon the Leviathan. Not super far away. But we're not there yet. Alright, let's give this a shot. Get some more of that uh, Stardust though. Because that stuff 
sold pretty good. It was almost a gold a piece. We would need our buffs. Definitely would need the buffs. We have to look up Mega Shark. Makes the Megalodon. Duck cells, Tenebris, no. and life loop. And that's, that's pretty much the end of that. Before I forget, while we're here, we should get some more shark fins. This way, when the time comes, we can make another sulf uh, sulfuric food summon for that aquatic scourge. Nope. 
Up we go. I think it's got a pretty common spawn, doesn't it? for the boss summon. Did not mean to turn that up on myself. Alrighty, buddy. Give me that shark fin. Thanks. Straight from the get go. Not that much box. So we need this and a lot of chlorophyte. Thank you. 
portal of gold coins, don't mind if I do. Oh, uh, is that a bag of silver coins or is that a bag of gold coins? Bag of gold coins. Well. I'm destroying those just to keep them open for a planter a bulb or something else to spawn in. Even a life group. to destroy that stupid thing. Kept spawning crabs in. Alright, we'll have to do some farming for that off camera. Because I'm out of time here. So, Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Thankfully, again, we made some progress, beat Calamitous. So, we'll get there. <laughs>